we will walk together through the entire Tesla factory. From sheet metal welding, painting, car battery production, to interior assembly and quality control. Tesla currently has 6 Giga factories all over the world. But now let's start at Tesla's Fremont factory. In May 2010, Tesla purchased Fremont factory from Toyota for $42 million. The plant currently manufactures the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, employing about 11,000 people. While Tesla has indeed expanded its factory location presence worldwide, the Fremont factory remains the mothership. Tesla company purchased a former GM and Toyota plant in Fremont, California, on the urge of Silicon Valley. The abandoned facility is a traditional car factory, dark, little natural light, and bare concrete floors. When Tesla Motors move in it's the birth of a mega factory like no other. It's a totally fresh approach to car manufacture. The walls and floors are painted white. The machinery are striking red. Skylights and windows flood the factory with sunlight. If you make the factory pristine and clean that sets the tone for the vehicle. Tesla car factory is full of the most advanced technology. Creating an automated production line capable of building tens of thousands of cars. All of Tesla's production facilities are saturated with robots. The Tesla master plan was very simple. They start off creating an expensive, low-volume car to help break the mold on electric vehicles. Super-efficient multitasking robots, self-guided smart cards, and computerized production schedules. The Tesla factory is designed to be up there with the very best in the world. Without training, these sophisticated robots are useless. They all need to be taught before they can run tasks automatically. Every robot is programmed by hand. The Tesla team has meticulously trained 130 sophisticated robots over a year and a half. One of the last robots still to be programmed is a multi-point welding robot it will be used to join the car's underbody. These are pretty busy robots. A robot's work is only as good as the man who trains it. The space in which the robot operates is treated as a three-dimensional grid. The head can be manually guided to any point using a teach pendant. Their start point and well position. Tesla worker now guides the robot millimeter by millimeter and uploads the coordinates. The robot works out the most efficient route and runs the program. The powertrain is incredibly small. You get the same performance out of a motor that's the size of a watermelon. That fits between the rear wheels. And everything else above that is what can be called the opportunity space. The design team started with the motor and flat battery pack and worked upwards. With the motor next to the wheels, there's no need for a drive shaft. So there is no rise under the rear middle seat. There is no fuel tank. While the automaker does receive various parts from suppliers around the world, several of them have opened facilities nearby to be closer to this Tesla factory location. The process begins in stamping. To increase the battery's range, the company have decided to build 97% of the Model S with lightweight aluminium. It's an extremely rare feature in a mass production car, due to the cost. Every Model S starts as one of these. The roll is loaded into the mechanical cutting machine. Once cut, the panels are passed to the stamping press. It needs to translate flat pieces of aluminum into 3D forms. And how to do this with aluminum stamping with the level of quality that Tesla expect is really challenging. Tesla buy the largest available stamping press in North America. It's one of the first pieces of equipment they install, over three stories high. It has to be transported from Detroit on 70 trains and then entirely the rebuilt.
pressure from the stamp allows them to press the complex body shapes needed for the Model S. It can be mounted with different heads, known as the eyes, that mold the panels into a wide variety of shapes. Robotic arms feed the full stamps. Each stage forces a more detailed 3D shape, producing stacks of floor plates. These lightweight aluminium parts improve the Model S's power-to-weight ratio which helps increase the performance and range. Powertrain Manufacturer, Second Floor This is where they build the heart of the Model S. The motors and battery packs, Tesla know the electric powertrain will define their cars. So they push to advance the technology themselves. Tesla's solution to improving battery life appears startlingly simple. They use thousands of small lithium-ion cells similar to laptop batteries. Thanks to these regular batteries, the company say the Model S has achieved a top range of 480 kilometers. The high-performance battery pack is formed with over 7,000 small cells. They're organized into a flat layer with specific groupings of positive and negative. The Model S test production cycle reaches the main assembly area. The car is based around a partially steel underbody. To make it engineers weld struts and casts into a framework. This newly trained welding robot is about to be tested in full automation. They have trained the robots with prototype parts. Now, with final components coming through successfully from stamping, it's automated production for real. Under observation it's a tense time for the team. The robots work in a tightly coordinated chain. The second phase hits an issue. It shuts the whole process down. One of the robotic clamps is millimeters out of line. It's a tiny difference, but enough to disrupt the process. A major delay will disrupt the whole production schedule and threaten the deadline. They adjust the settings and set the robots in motion again. This time it goes off without a hitch. To the team's relief the process can be approved for mass production. The run through the automated line reaches the Model S exterior. The Model S body is made up of 14 different sections. To speed the workflow Tesla construct each section its separate sub-assemblies. Door sub-assembly. The internal frame is joined to the exterior panel. As the robot's pincers come together, they fire a rivet and join the aluminium sheets. Over to the right, side body sub-assembly. One of the most advanced aspects of Tesla's robots is that each arm can perform a variety of different tasks. This flexibility is essential for a compact and efficient workflow. A robot can spot weld using a pincer tool, and then automatically detach the pincer and pick up a clamp tool. The same arm that joined the panels can now move it to the next station. It's clever, but tricky and needs constant refining. Once assembled the sections are brought together at body assembly. Here they're riveted around the welded underbody to form the basic shell of the car. All the sections are lined up alongside the central framing line. Gradually the automated line builds up the side sections, ready to house the doors. This part is called robot dancing. It is my favorite part of car production.
A test batch of three cars is complete. Buddy assembly has demonstrated it can run successfully in full automation. It's a vital milestone in the countdown to mass production. Completely assembled the aluminium body, is now known as body in white. It's ready for some color. The body in white, is loaded onto an overhead train that carries it to the paint area. At this fast facility the paint center is in a totally separate building. The Fremont site covers nearly 95 football fields of space. It's so big the Model S production line only fills 20 of it. The aluminium body arrives on the overhead train from body center. Paint center. This is where they make the car look like a premium sedan. It's a state-of-the-art process. First a roller coaster ride of treatment baths. Detergent to clean the surface, and then electro-coating. The electro-coat helps attract the paint to the aluminium. The primed car is ready for color. This vehicle will be sprayed with their trademark tint, what Tesla calls signature red. It's a masterpiece of perfectly choreographed automation. Even the paint robots multitask, using a handle to open and close the doors. Once it's through the painted body heads up into the ovens, to be baked and double glassed. A specialist team spends hours assessing the finish, before the car is passed. The Model S spends over a day and a half in paint, and that attention to detail carries through to general assembly. First the Model S's panoramic glass roof. The insulation robot takes a picture of the top of the car. It uses the digital picture to measure the exact orientation and bond the glass. Next the interior. The wiring and seats are fitted. The aerodynamic door handles are installed. To get the delicate insulation right a wireless system adjusts the torque for each bolt. The cutting edge dashboard is lowered into the car. It's proof the car is a product of the tech savvy United States West Coast. Powertrain and body marriage. In gasoline cars, installing the drivetrain is a lengthy process. With electric it can happen in just two steps. Step 1, the motor unit complete with suspension and brakes is bolted into the rear wheel berths. There is no drive shaft or transmission to be attached. In one motion it's fitted. For final assembly the work is mainly manual. Like the robots the line workers performance is being monitored. With every vehicle they're ramping up to the full production cycle time or tack time.
Step 2. Battery Pack Installation The pack steel case acts as the car chassis. Bolted into place it gives the Model S its rigidity. A stage along the first complete cars arrive at final inspection. At Elon's insistence, inspection happens on a bamboo platform. He believes you can only judge a car's beauty if it's framed by beautiful surroundings. The last check is the test drive. At Tesla the track is very different. Because electric cars produce no exhaust fumes, they can be driven indoors. Tesla operates plants worldwide for the manufacture of their products, including electric vehicles, lithium-ion batteries, solar shingles, chargers, automobile parts, and manufacturing equipment and tools for its own factories. Tesla Gigafactory 4 in Berlin will focus on the Model Y and is still under construction. Tesla Gigafactory 5 in Texas is almost ready. There is also Tesla Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai. Gigafactory 2 near New York and Gigafactory 1 in Nevada.